Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures says that the total pressure of a mixture of gases equals the sum of the pressures that each would exert if it were present alone. The equation is total pressure is equal to the pressure of gas A if it were, if it were present alone, plus the pressure of gas B if it were present alone, plus the pressure of gas C, etc., etc. So here we have an illustration. We have gas A in a container by itself exerting a pressure PA. Gas B, the yellow particles, in a container by itself exerting a pressure PB. And gas C in a container by itself with blue particles exerting a pressure of PC. If we put all three of these gases in the same container, then the total pressure of that container is going to be the sum of the individual partial pressures of each gas. So it's going to be the pressure of A plus the pressure of B plus the pressure of C. How is this so? How is it that the pressures of the individual gases don't affect the pressures of the other gases? The reason is that the molecules in a mixture of gases are so far apart from each other that they don't occupy any space for all intents and purposes, so that each molecule has access to the entire volume as if it were alone, as if no other gas were present. And because they're so spread out, they don't collide with each other, so the pressure is the same as if no other gas were present. Dalton's equation again, the total pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. Let's look at some sample problems. A mixture contains carbon dioxide with a partial pressure of 125 millimeters mercury and oxygen with a partial pressure of 275 millimeters mercury. What is the total pressure of the mixture? Dalton's law of partial pressures says that the total pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. So that the total pressure is equal to the pressure of the carbon dioxide gas plus the pressure of the oxygen gas. Carbon dioxide has a pressure of 125 millimeters mercury, and oxygen has a partial pressure of 275 millimeters mercury. Added together, that's a total of 400 point millimeters mercury. Another sample problem. A mixture of argon and neon has a total pressure of 1.50 atmospheres. If the partial pressure of neon is 1.25 atmospheres, what is the partial pressure of argon? Again, the total pressure is the sum of the partial pressures of the individual gases. So the total pressure is equal to the sum of the pressure of argon plus the partial pressure of neon. If we want to solve for the partial pressure of argon, we simply subtract the pressure of neon from each side. So we get the pressure of argon is equal to the total pressure minus the pressure of neon, which is equal to 1.50 atmospheres minus 1.25 atmospheres, which is equal to 0.25 atmospheres. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, help from our online chemistry community and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.